I'm done for the day traders and here's uh, how my account looks like. Um, as you can see here, again, this is a new platform trading, so I'm still getting used to it. And uh, you can see here that I have, uh, these are my closed positions. So traded four stocks today, Siena, Lulu, Netflix and Starbucks in total of uh, a bit more over four grand in profits. And I'm still holding, which does not include in that sum here, the open positions, which are up $122 right now. And I'm still holding 100 shares of Starbucks and 100 shares of Siena. Now let's take a quick look at uh, all of these trades today and try to figure out what uh, really happened there. Well, the first thing I want to take a look at with you guys is the S&P 500. We watched the S&P 500 today moving over 1%, 1.1%. At that point here, I mentioned that we had two topping tails, which shows me that probably we're going to see some kind of a pullback. I also mentioned I'm going to see I'm going to we're going to see the pullback in my opinion at up down to the 317 area. I also mentioned that it's not very likely for the market after being up 1.1% to continue much higher. Not that it does not happen ever once in a while, but that would be a rare day. And if you want to think about going long, because most of you were kind of excited where we were up here. And I've got a lot of people showing me new trades, new longs, new long opportunities, which technically looked great. But I wouldn't do that again because the fact that the market was up that much and I was looking for a pullback. I also mentioned I'm going to see the pullback, in my opinion, down to 317. And it really came down. Now, how did I know it's going to be 317? Because this is as much as it moved from the recent low here to that point. If you're going to use a Fibonacci, and I don't need to use a Fibonacci, you're going to see this is approximately the 61% or so Fibonacci pullback. Why? Because that looks perfect to a lot of people. People will start buying again. You ask yourself the following question. Okay, we're too high. We should see a pullback. Market is a bit extended. Where would people start buying again? So I'm looking at the chart and I'm just imagining, as I mentioned before we saw that, I was just imagining to myself and saying, when it's going to come down to 317, I can see some people coming in and buying. And look at that. It came down to 317 and they started buying. Now, what would be the next move? Would it move over the highs? No idea. Would it continue coming? Would it come down now? No idea. Most likely hold to this position to the rest of the day. Maybe we're going to see it higher. That would be extremely rare. But if I would be right more than 50% of the time, maybe not more than 55 or 60 percent of the time which is good enough to make money i would bet that it will not move over the highs and even if it does it's going to return to this area so should we go long for example starbucks which is looking great right now well if you bet on continuation over 1.1 percent you could do that extremely dangerous in my opinion if you already made money in the market and i just did uh, over forty two hundred dollars i'm okay with what i did and I don't really look for another trade. Now, let's take a look at the trade we already picked today. So we had Siena for a long. It was posted over $39. Uh, and look at this beautiful, beautiful technical formation here. I think Scott posted it. Um, and look at the way it behaves. Now, Siena is up today 12%. When stock is up 12%, you don't expect it to fail. Now, it started here moved initially higher. Why? Because a lot of people are chasing the price up, which is a stupid mistake. They shouldn't do that. And then it came down, crashed down, took out all the weak hands and moved higher. At this point, we were ready to go long over 39. That's a whole number. It's hard for a stock to move over a whole number. There's usually a lot of sellers at whole number. It pulled back down. And that was a beautiful technical long over 39. And uh, it just did great. It moved up. Currently, the high just below $40 after a partial already. So Siena was a great trade and still, and I'm still riding 100 shares. Um, I had Netflix for short. I posted it under 297.50. It was not a great example of a good trade. I mean, 297. Uh, 50 was right over here. I saw it failing. You know, it started with a gap down. So when it's starting with a gap down, look at what happened. It moved up and closed the gap. Usually when stock is down with a gap and moving up and closing the gap, if it pulls back down just a little bit and moves higher over the highs, that could be a reciprocal range, which means it's going to double what it did and move higher strongly. But Netflix did not do that. And usually when the stock is just moving up and closing the gap, it's more likely 
to calm down. So if I'm watching Netflix and the way it behaved, it moved up, closed the gap, and then started coming down. At this point, I was starting to think maybe it's going to continue coming down. And then came this green candle. Now, you don't see a green candle here, you see a red candle. So why do I call it green candle? Because at the point where the tail was over here, with the, at this point over here, this was a full green candle. And then it failed and came down. At that point, I was, I believed Netflix should continue coming down. I shorted it. I even added a bit under 297 and it continued coming down. Very glad I took that partial over here because it's just going sideways since then. It took me out with my last 200 shares, but still is a profitable trade, $970 for me in Netflix today. That again, wasn't a great trade. I mean, if it was, if I read correctly Netflix, it should have continued coming down and not just go sideways. Maybe it will, maybe it won't. But you also have to remember that the market moved up very strong. So it's kind of miracle that a stock like Netflix is coming down when the market isn't not only isn't, but coming up very strong. We also had Starbucks for a long. Scott posted it over $88 and I was very glad to join it. Look at the $88 mark. It was right over here. Uh, Scott came in and then it pulled back, back down a few cents and I, 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 <laughs> I really was very happy to join it as it moved up again over $88. And this is an amazingly good looking trade. I mean, before the pullback, it came up 50 cents, pulled back down, continued. So Starbucks did uh, almost 90 cents, 89 cents to be exact right here to the highs. It was a beautiful long trade. And of course, when the market's moving up, you should be looking for longs more than shorts. However, I did take Lulu today. You couldn't tell when the market opened up today, a bit in red, if the market's going to go up or come down. Now, Lulu came down initially. Lulu is down 4.3% right now. Well, it started a bit, a bit um, higher than this, maybe 3.5%, I'm not sure. Initial move was up. I, I remember Scott saying in the room, great, Lulu is moving up. Why do we like it to move up? We like it to move up. These are one-minute candles. We like it to move out because we need to see all the buyers getting out of the game. And once it started to move lower, Scott posted it under 226, which was great. But I thought I could take the risk under 227. That's where I posted it in the room. So I clicked the short button, wanted to go short 2000 shares. <laughs> and, uh, you know, it's a new platform and everything uh, happened. As it happened, I went short only 200 shares and um, Lulu Endgame for me is up to $97. You should, I should have added another zero here. This should have been my trade, uh, almost three grand. So no, it did not happen. I made a mistake. I only shorted 200 shares, but look at the beautiful way Lulu moved down several points. I mean, the lows in Lulu is 218 and that was what? Um, eight points, nine points, whatever. Amazing. This could have been an amazing trade. It was a $300 trade. I'm not complaining. This is good. So Lulu was my last trade, uh, actually my first trade today. And that was a beautiful trading day. I really, really hope you enjoyed. Please remember the lesson we had earlier about uh, trading the VIX and how dangerous it is. 75% uh, of you guys mentioned um, the, the losing money trading the VIX. And um, if you guys... Um, uh, want to comment on this video, which is going to be on YouTube. If you make money or lose money on the TVIX uh, trading the VIX, I would be very glad, glad to answer more questions if you probably have on this issue. So guys, beautiful day. Thank you for participating. And I'm looking forward to trading with you tomorrow. Plus this evening, I'm going to be teaching in the Star Trader course. Don't forget if you're in the course, we're going to talk today about uh, how to manage uh, a trade, risk, a war, things like that. A very important lesson. I mean, every lesson is important. So I'll see you later today, some of you, and the rest uh, tomorrow. Thank you very much for participating. You guys on YouTube, if you didn't yet give us a thumb up, this would be a great time for us. Uh, looking forward to trading with you guys tomorrow too. Thank you for participating. Bye, guys. Thank you for watching our video. Before you go, we invite you to join the TradeNet trading room for a free 14-day trial. 
Traded has educated more than 30,000 professional traders worldwide since 2004, and its trading room is one of the world's leading trading communities. Click here to start your free trial. If you like this video, please subscribe to our YouTube channel where you can view many more stock trading videos. Questions or comments, please submit them below.